Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Sarthak Kaushik and I am back again with another video for you guys and this is the final video before NEET PG 2024. I know I have been wanting to talk about this uh, NEET PG postponement once again for some time but I had to sit down and rethink uh, what I really wanted to talk about in this video because I didn't want to just come up and start uh, playing the blame game again and again with the the NBE actually it has been so long since we had this exam and it's been a, a really tough time for all the students who are going to appear for this exam whether for the first time second or the third time now we don't have much time left for the exam so I just wanted to come up to you and give you one final piece of advice I wanted to take away a few things that happened in the past few weeks and just really reflect upon how you've prepared for your exam and what you can do to actually achieve what you wanted to in the very first place before this fiasco even began. So let's just get into the video. This will be a short one, I promise, and it won't waste a lot of your time. So stay tuned and keep watching. <laughs> So basically just a day before the exam where everybody was going to appear for the exam of their lives. People had traveled so much in order to reach their exam centers a day in advance or two days in advance. They had prepared themselves mentally so well and a day before the exam at 10 p.m. you're getting a message that the exam is postponed until further notice. I mean it cannot get worse than that. First of all it was a rumor I even I felt it as a rumor and I didn't want to trouble my friends with uh, all of this information but soon it was everywhere and it was spreading like wildfire like that the exam has had been postponed it came from all the official authorities from trustable resources as well so the exam was finally postponed but then they then everybody had only one question in mind that why did they do so so basically what went wrong was that uh, NEET UG had already been a disaster uh, because a lot of people had scored almost 100% marks in the exam and there was some fraudulent marking as well that was going on there were reports of it being leaked which it actually was so similarly they said that to you know protect the integrity of the exam they should uh, postpone need PG as well because it, there was uh, news of the paper being leaked and I don't know how an online paper can be leaked but still there were some news that uh, it had been leaked so to protect the integrity as they say it they postponed the exam or cancelled it altogether I mean I kind of understand the point why they did it so because see it is far more worse for the UG students than it is for you because these guys have no idea when their paper will be whether they will have a retest or not because the exam is already done and it takes a lot to conduct an exam once again for so many students so as if you compare it with them the situation is still a little bit better I am not going to uh, pinpoint that there is no error or there has been no mistake from the NBE but definitely I would say that if it was true then it was better that the paper was cancelled otherwise you have would have been in a completely bad mental state right now but the problem with that was that the unexpected announcement just made it very worse like they could have done it like well in advance and there was no transparency between the authorizing uh, or the organizing body and the students which made it difficult and uh, like there were allegations of paper being lead which really questions that like what is the integrity of this organizing committee this was all the issues and Ultimately, I don't want to waste much time on talking about these issues because there are multiple issues that were wrong with this and there is actually no way to find a good optimism in uh, this situation. But okay, so what I'm here to tell you is that how do you move forward and what thing you need to understand right now so that you can change your lives forever. Okay, so like just by looking at it you won't get what this graph actually means but when you look at it carefully you'll understand what this is about so I know it's being a little cliche but this is the India versus South Africa T20 World Cup final 
सो बेसिकली यू ऑल नो वॉट हैपन्ड एंड बेसिकली यू कैन ऑल सी दैट दिस इज वेयर वी वर एट द एंड ऑफ द फिफ्टीन ओवर वेयर वी जस्ट हैड थर्टी बॉल्स रिमेनिंग एंड साउथ अफ्रीका जस्ट नीडेड थर्टी रन टू विन दिस इज वेयर इंडिया वॉज इन द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ विनिंग इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट जीरो इफ यू कैन सी ओवर हियर बट देन देर वॉज एन एक्सेप्शनल ओवर बाय बुमराह एंड देन हार्दिक पांड्या विच इमिडियट टू कस टू दैट लेवल वेयर वी वर एंड देन वी वन द वर्ल्ड कप नाउ वी एक्चुअली कांट पॉइंट आउट टू अ सिंगल फैक्टर वेदर इट वॉज हार्दिक एक्सेप्शनल बोलिंग वेदर इट वॉज द कैच दैट वॉज डन बाय सूर्या कुमार यादव और विराट कोहलीज एक्सेप्शनल बैटिंग और रोहित शर्मा's captaincy because it was actually a combination of all of those things throughout the entire tournament. So basically, what I mean by you know showing and giving this example is that it is not over until the very last moment. You might be feeling very defeated and very frustrated at this point of time. That why is it happening to you only? Because every time things seem to go wrong with you. whether you are a dropper or an intern the exam was supposed to be held in march way back in march then it got postponed then got preponed then postponed once again and finally this happened a day before the exam and you might be feeling that you after being in such a good position that you've lost everything india was doing so well in the first few overs uh, of their innings that everybody felt that like india has got this game we've clutched this game but towards the beginning and towards like the extreme end of the match we felt like it was like losing from us once again even virat kohli said that that he felt that the match was going to slip away from the hands once again but they rose up to the occasion and they came back in such a way that like india is going to remember it for generations to come so this is what you need to do you don't have to lose hope that you can still win this game you are in this game till the very end till the point you step out from the exam hall you are in this game and just the next day after the india match there was the austrian uh, 2024 grand prix and you can all see like max verstappen is uh, ruling everybody in this uh, formula 1 uh, world cup landon norris is the second best uh, driver out there right now and you can see the time differences in the qualifying so max verstappen and landon norris qualified first and second and uh, like russell uh, from mercedes was qualified uh, third and he is 0.5 seconds away from the lead car and 0.5 seconds in a formula 1 qualifying is a lot if you don't watch formula 1 so basically the entire race max verstappen and lando norris were battling it out in one of the finest driving one has ever seen in formula 1 and these two were killing it george russell was about Uh, 15 seconds behind the uh, both of them, and he was just driving his own race peacefully, and he was just there or thereabouts. But something unexpected happened in the final stages of this race, and uh, you can see how both the race leaders kind of crash into one another, and both of them just lost it. So what happened was that Russell was 15 seconds behind, and you can see that this is his. Uh, win probability in the how the race went and you can see at the very end he came up and rose to the occasion and ultimately won the race which no one was expect expecting him to do because mercedes is not a fast car these days so the another message that i want to give you with this example is that you can always capitalize on someone else's loss i know it's not sounding good but this is true a lot of people have given up on their motivation a lot of people feel very tired but you have to make sure that you are not one of them you just have to be in the race ultimately you all will end up somewhere but the important thing is that if you are performing well like in the past few months giving gts and performing exceptionally well in those gts as well and now if you decide to like go absolutely crazy you don't uh, study properly or you're too over confident that you make a mistake you crash at the end then someone else is going to capitalize on your loss even if they're not performing or studying better than you they will still do better in the exam because they have always been consistent so you have to be extremely consistent at this point of time it might be very dif- difficult and There's no one that can understand it better than you guys. 
बट दिस इज द थिंग यू हैव टू अल्टीमेटली रियलाइज दैट दिस इज अ गेम ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी दिस इज ऑलवेज बिन अ गेम ऑफ मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ रादर दैन योर अबिलिटी टू रीड वेल अल्टीमेटली देर इज नो स्ट्रैटी दैट कैन लाइक यू नो गेट यू टू एक्सपोनशली इंक्रीज योर मार्क्स एट द वेरी एंड दिस ओनली वन स्ट्रैटी एंड दैट इज यू हैव टू बी मेंटली स्टेबल वेन यू आर सिटिंग इन द एग्जाम हॉल एंड द फाइनल एग्जाम्पल दैट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इज दैट जस्ट आफ्टर वन वीक एंड फ्रॉम दिस रेस देर वॉज द ब्रिटिश ग्राउंड प्री एंड द वर्ल्ड नंबर वन ड्राइवर द गोटेड ड्राइवर लुइस हैमिल्टन वन हिज रेस आफ्टर नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव डेज ऑफ नॉट विनिंग अ सिंगल रेस वन देर वॉज अ टाइम दैट ही यूज टू विन एवरी सिंगल रेस ही हैड वन एंड टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स एंड देन ही केम अप एंड वन a race finally that means that you might be very good at something and you might be performing consistently well but it might not be showing up in your gt marks or your uh, the q banks that you are doing but that does not mean that you cannot win the game you are in the game till the very end and this is the final take home message from all of these example that you just have to be there with the mental uh, stability and the calmness and you can easily win so now we know that the exam is going to be held on 11th august the date is finally here so you have a deadline to work upon and one good thing that i feel about this is that now you know what you need to do in the final 7 uh, to 10 days just before the exam you have practiced it now you realize what you missed and what you can do better a lot of people don't get this opportunity because we tend to waste a lot of time in the final 7 to 10 days you've been given that chance again on how you can like do better this time so there was this uh, talk about like neat pg in two shifts and there was a lot of confusion regarding this as well let me tell you this has been happening in je since a lot uh, of the past few years and this is nothing to worry about some yes one paper will definitely be easier than the other paper and that happens in je as well but you don't need to worry about the scores you just need to worry about your studies and your confidence this the score will be uh, like normalized and the normalization is basically that the variability is assessed by a number of like equations and uh, the raw score is calculated of like Uh, the high scorers in both the papers and then uh, they will adjust the marks according uh, to the average scores in both the papers so you don't need to worry about the math that is going on behind here the normalization will be fair and uh, you will get the marks that you deserve no matter how tough or how easy the paper is yes now what is important that is that you need to uh, study your pyqs better and better so that if you are getting the easy paper you don't get the pyqs wrong otherwise your average will fall below and you won't gain a lot while as the people who are uh, like getting the correct questions in the tougher section of the exam will definitely benefit from the normalization so whether you are going to get the tough uh, exam or the easy exam there's no way to know there's only one thing you need to do and that is practice your previous year questions and previous year topics thoroughly and this is my final uh, message to all of you guys who are going to appear for nit pg 2024 it's it has been one hell of a journey and uh, i know you all will like win your own races and very soon we're going to see you on the other side so till then take care bye bye and all the best